What's going on everybody? Brian here with the Nerd Theory channel. Uh, I'm going to do a something or another today, which if you don't know is a show about just stuff that's going on in entertainment, whether it's movies, games, television, whatever. We're just going to talk about it. Uh, in the last couple weeks, a couple things happened at Disney. Uh, one of which was about a week ago, a week and a half ago at this point from this videotaping that they announced the uh, live action remake of The Lion King with Jon Favreau directing, who did the Jungle Book web that made like a buku amount of money, like ridiculous, and it worked out well for the studio. Now, that's one thing, but more interesting is another announcement that they're doing another live action remake of one of their animated classics, and that's Aladdin. Yes, Aladdin. Now, as of right now, I'm not 100% sure if it's confirmed or denied or if it's just in talks uh, that Guy Ritchie is going to be directing this film. Now, I think Guy Ritchie, I don't think Disney. But having said that, Aladdin is kind of one of these properties that could probably go either way for better or for worse. The, the elephant in the room is that we no longer have Robin Williams anymore. We And the genie that we all know and love from the old anime and movies is just simply not going to be there and I have a feeling that this is going to be an Aladdin that's not as light-hearted it's going to be a little bit more gritty it's going to be a little bit more mm, violent maybe I'm not sure I'm not I'm, I'm just here speculating folks but the real thing is is that is it is it okay for this to happen so soon now once again I understand that these anime movies came back out in the 90s which is a while back, but not as a while back as, say, like The Jungle Book or 101 Dalmatians that have had their live action iterations put in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Having said that, Lion King Aladdin is not that old in the grand scheme of things when you compare it to other movies. So, my big question is is it justifiable to do this? Maybe, maybe not. Um, but the reason, like, The Jungle Book was good for so many kids and even myself. I have never watched The Jungle Book, the animated uh, movie, and neither have probably a lot of kids. That's probably the reasoning behind its buku money. It was a good movie, and there was a lot of nods to the original animated movie. Now, my question is to you, what do you want to see in a Lion King live action? What should they keep? What should they take away? What about Aladdin? What should, what should they do with Aladdin? Should they make the genie all goofy again like they did in the original uh, cartoon? Or does it need to be more focused, more, more just more realistic, like the bat newer Batman movies, I guess? the Nolan Batman movies. I, I should reiterate that. If so, I don't know what to think about this, is what it really comes down to. Uh, on one hand, I'm intrigued by The Lion King because Favreau did a really good job with The Jungle Book. Aladdin, though, is just one of those that are just kind of up in the air because I'm used to the genie. I'm used to Robin Williams. I'm used to the lightheartedness and the goofiness of it. But I have a feeling with Guy Ritchie behind the helm, and I could be 100% wrong, it just won't be that Aladdin that we're used to, but that might be a good thing. Who knows? What do you think? Do you think Aladdin's a good idea? Do you think the Lion King remake is a good idea? If so, let us know in the comments below and t just let us know what you think. I'm Brian, and I'm out. What's going on, everybody? Brian here with the Nerd Theory channel and MPG podcast. If you like what you saw, please support us on Patreon at www.patreon.com backslash nerdtheory.